Well, it's now 24 hours since the beginning of a surprise attack by Hamas against Israel. Here are the key developments in the conflict as they stand this Sunday morning. Israel's Prime Minister has warned Gazans to prepare for retaliation and says his country is about to embark on a long and difficult war. More than 250 Israelis have died and the toll on the Palestinian side has been put at at least 230. Gun battles are continuing in several parts of Israel. Hamas gunmen have taken hostages, although some are reported to have been released. There are some reports on rockets being fired from Lebanon into northern Israel. The militant group Hezbollah have said they did it. The UN Security Council will meet later on Sunday. President Biden has vowed rock-solid support for Israel and warned against other countries taking advantage of the situation. Well, let's show you live pictures from Gaza now. All is relatively quiet on the streets. No surprise, as we've just mentioned, people have been told to shelter inside. We know that airstrikes have continued just in the past few hours. We've seen renewed Israeli airstrikes overnight. It's responded to Hamas's attack with devastating airstrikes, including some in the last little while. The United States is working with other governments to calm the situation. Several Middle Eastern countries, including Egypt, Saudi Arabia and Jordan, have been in, co to, in contact to coordinate efforts to contain the violence. The UN Security Council will discuss the crisis at an emergency meeting on Sunday. Simon Jones has the latest. What Israel is describing as its mighty vengeance on the Palestinian militant group Hamas. Overnight, Gaza has been rocked by explosions. Earlier, warplanes hit several buildings in the center of the city. The Israeli Defense Forces released these pictures, which they say are Hamas cells being targeted. The Israeli military trying to show they are on the front foot after being taken by surprise by Hamas's attacks. The Israeli Prime Minister issued this warning in a televised address. All of the places Hamas is active in, in this city of evil, all the places Hamas is hiding in, operating from, will turn them into ruins. I'm telling the people of Gaza, get out of there now, because we're about to take action everywhere with all our force. This is how the attack by Hamas began yesterday morning, armed men cutting through Israel's perimeter fence, accompanied by a wave of rocket attacks. Hamas released this footage showing an Israeli tank being targeted. It was a highly planned operation, catching Israel off guard. Israelis who'd been at a rave in the fields near Gaza were forced to flee for their lives. They were going tree by tree and shooting everywhere from two sides and I saw many people like people were dying like all around <laughs> Israelis were seen being taken into Gaza as hostages more than 50 soldiers and civilians are believed to have been taken captive though some have been rescued or released overnight the leader of Hamas, which governs Gaza, has promised to end Israel's occupation of Palestinian lands. We are on the verge of a great victory and a clear conquest on the Gaza front. In the Israeli city of Sudarot, which came under attack, a bulldozer is used to break into a police station where Hamas gunmen were thought to be holed up. The British Prime Minister has described Hamas's actions as cowardly and depraved, a view shared by the US president. Innocent people murdered, wounded, entire families taken hostage by Hamas. Just days after Israel marked the holiest of days in the Jewish calendar. It's unconscionable. You know, when I spoke with Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning, I told him the United States stands with the people of Israel in the face of these terrorist assaults. This morning, Gaza is shrouded in smoke. Israel says it's cutting off the supply of electricity, fuel and goods to the city. The Israeli military says it has also carried out strikes into Lebanon after shots were fired from the north. 
and the Hamas attacks have continued. This was Tel Aviv last night. The escalating violence will be discussed today at an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council. Hamas shows no sign of pulling back. The Israeli Prime Minister is warning of a long and difficult war. Diplomatic efforts to stabilise what is the largest escalation in this conflict for decades won't be easy. Simon Jones, BBC News. Well, let's go live to our reporter in Gaza, Rushdi Abalouf. Uh, Rushdi, a very tense situation right now. What's the latest that you're hearing inside Gaza? Yeah, it was non-stop shilling all night. Air strike, strikes, uh, according to according to security sources, about 150 targets have been uh, hit since the uh, last night. Last night, uh, and until now, the explosions could be heard. Black smoke raised out of the uh, Hamas uh, com commander buildings in, in Gaza. According to Hamas, about houses belong to Hamas. Uh, uh, senior uh, commanders and also local uh, military commanders have been uh, targeted, destroyed. Uh, about 20, 22 people have been killed out of, uh, uh, because of the uh, uh, last night, night and this morning uh, airstrikes. And this is bringing the, uh, the overall uh, death toll since the beginning of this uh, operation to 252 uh, people and over, uh, over uh, 1,700 people have been injured, some of them in a very critical critical condition, he appealed to be able to uh, visit any nearest hospital and donate uh, blood for uh, for this. Uh, the, the, this the, uh, the, big, the picture here is completely different this morning from, yes, from yesterday. Yesterday, we have seen people celebrating Hamas firing thousands of rockets into Israel. But this morning, the situation is completely the opposite. People are staying indoor. Uh, the sound of explosions, the, the black smoke. Uh, are almost uh, across the uh, Gaza uh, uh, Strip. Uh, also, the, uh, uh, most of the areas in Gaza are without electricity, as Israel stopped the uh, uh, supply in Gaza with, with the uh, electricity. So only 20% of the electricity needed are available for, for uh, Gaza. So, so most of these have no electricity. And when there is no electricity, always the water supplies will be uh, affected. The lines are down since uh, since yesterday, and this morning one of the significant airstrikes that targeted what is called the Watan uh, building. It's a building that consider a hub a hub for most of the uh, 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 internet providers in uh, in Gaza. So more more uh, problem will be uh, faced by the people of Gaza because of destroying this uh, tower, which, cons which consider one of the for the uh, uh, internet and. Rushdie, you've taken us through what ordinary people are facing inside Gaza at the moment. What about Hamas? There has been shock outside of Gaza at the size of the weapons arsenal that Hamas were able to build up. Can you shed some light onto that? Yeah, well, uh, for the last 17 uh, years, Hamas is in control of this uh, uh, territory. It's uh, it's a place where they have a long uh, uh, coastal uh, border and, all, and also a border with the Sinai. And I think Hamas was uh, all the time not hiding. They, they were all the time saying that we are preparing for such battle with Israel. With the, we are developing weapons. We are smuggling weapons into, uh, into Gaza. And also they are expecting Israeli uh, to, uh, to uh, react, react or to return. Uh, uh, what they have done uh, yesterday, and we have seen how how uh, Israel hit hard last night, and they, and they continue to do uh, destroying most of the Hamas. Two, three uh, uh, buildings, Hamas banks were destroyed. Infrastructure for Hamas, military compound, also so houses for their uh, for the, their leaders were uh, hit and destroyed. So Hamas know the consequences of such. Uh, uh, into Israel, and they must have been expecting that Israeli uh, reaction. Okay. Rushdie, thank you for talking to us. I'm glad we got a line through to you in Gaza City. Rushdie Abu Alouf, thank you.